Good morning, everybody. This is April the 1st of 2024, April Food Day. All right, let's go through some stuff this morning. Like I've been telling y'all the last couple of days, some of you may have seen this channel, some of you may be new, so I'm going to show it again. This big old line, that's the path of the total solar eclipse coming up through Mexico and the Texas across America and back turning back towards Europe and back that way. So that will be on April the 8th. You see, you click anywhere on it, it'll tell you April the 8th. All right, we're going to get that turned off. We're going to go on over here. We're going to look at the wildfires that's still going on. Well, we ain't going to look at them. We're going to glance at them. Y'all see that they're still going on. They still got them showed on the map up there in Virginia. All right, then you got all these hot spots down in here, which is magma. The darker, the deeper it is in the ground, the lighter, the closer to surface. So we got a swarm coming up down here in southern Florida, down here. It's pretty close to the surface right here. Y'all see them? What do y'all see right there around Lake Okeechobee? Look at that. Swarm of them right there. Got some up here, they a little bit deeper. That one's pretty light right there at Bainbridge, Georgia. So, we got magma. It was all bunched up, and there's still a little bunched up here. It looks like the majority of it's trying to shoot this direction. It's all this up and through here, even in Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, there's a lot of this part of that New Madrid seismic zone people don't understand. But, <clears throat> y'all see the magma up here? Y'all see that? Zoom out a little bit. Got all this down in here in Mexico and down in these islands. It's hot. It's hot down there. Got some coming up through here. Alright, now that y'all seen the location of all these, we're going to turn the fires and hot spots off. And we're going to look, let's see, we probably need to hit, let's hit the weather. Alright, the outlook for today's chances of severe weather, as y'all can see, starts right here, goes all the way around. It's this little light green. That's the general thunderstorm right here. Then you got this little strip right here that goes around the outside of that. It's a marginal risk. And then you got this right here. That's a earth looking colors. It's a slight risk. And then up in here today, in this big old area right here, in this brownish earth looking color, you enhance risk for severe weather today. These storms right here could get rolling and rolling pretty good in a little while. I'm not even going to play with y'all from what I've been seeing. But y'all see that low setting right there? That low is going to bring a lot of low-level air pressure in over there. It's already windy. You get all this moisture. You see them wind blowing that moisture right up in there. And what is that low pressure right there doing with that moisture? You see this moisture? Follow the trail. That moisture going up. That low pressure right there is soaking it up and spinning it. Y'all right around that low pressure system right there today it can get pretty rough i'm gonna tell y'all anywhere out through here it's gonna get pretty bad it ain't gonna be nothing to play around with i don't believe in my opinion this this right here is going and there's two of them they're back to back two storm a uh, low pressure systems right there and then you're going to have a lot of moisture coming up through here. And our air this morning in Mississippi at 
5 o'clock, 5 minutes till 5, feels like it could get favorable very quickly in a little while if uh, the sun if the sun gets out just right. A lot of clouds in the air down here this morning too. They was covering the moon in and out. Y'all can go look at my moon video. You can see the moon coming in and out the clouds. And they were rolling. So, but anyways, these low pressures going to suck, suck all this up, that moisture up. And we're going to have issues up here today in this area. It depends on where that low shifts. But this is pretty close idea, and that's, they don't know exactly. They can, and I don't know exactly. Nobody knows exactly, but God, He created this earth. But we can get pretty close, and this is the general area that my radar says we need to be watching. Mainly half of the United States, almost. And let's see out in here. Get a few shires. You got a low right here. So they could get some. And they got moisture coming in. With that low. If it gets warm enough and humidity and conditions to get right. They could have problems out here today as well. But I don't think it was going to be as bad as these right here. Because this is more cool moisture. This is more warm moisture over here. And along this boundary right here, they could go to kicking up. About, you see how these are, how far it is from that boundary? All the way down through here, they could go kicking up a line in a little while. And that line could start moving over this way. It depends on how all this shifts around. It depends on how that boundary line right there is going to develop and move around. And I expect these to just try to, <clears throat> these showers up here just move on off the east coast. Still got some snow and stuff up in here in the Dakotas, especially South Dakota, Southern Mon Minnesota, and Northern Iowa. Boy, it gets bad right up here in this northwest corner of Iowa. I had to go up there one time, Cherokee, <clears throat> a place called Cherokee, Iowa. I about got killed up there, y'all. That was a nightmare. Yeah, there was trucks going there which way. I so happened with one of them that didn't wreck, but we got the road shut down for three days. Good thing uh, I made it. Once I got there and got unloaded, I was glad to get out of that place. But anyways, that should be most of y'all's weather today. I will be in and out, keeping up on it as I can. My wife had a work day. I do got to homeschool my daughter. I'm hoping when she gets off, I may have a chance. I live over here to shoot up and set up over in here. I think it'd be a good idea to set up over in here and watch for a little bit and see how these systems and which way they're going to move so I'll know which way to move with them. So now that we got that, we can go back. And we can turn the winds off. We can turn the lightning off. The clouds. The outlook. Let me do that outlook again. You can see it better now with the clouds turned off. Y'all see the outlook? So this is your most worried area right here. Or actually this right here is. But this area right here is in a slight risk as well. Alright, we're going to go ahead and turn them out like so. Front saw. And we down to earthquakes and power outages. Alright, let's go to sorry, didn't mean to shake the camera. We're going to go over here at Texas. It's showing over here in Texas. It's a 2.8, 4.8 kilometer deep. Then we got this swarm right here that's been going on over here that we've been talking about. It's where man's been drilling to get gas. And also, 
it's become a weak spot for all this pressure coming over here that's coming over here and making more earthquakes. So in my opinion, there's two different things causing earthquakes right here in West Texas. All right. And let me say something this too. Uh, one reason why I really don't like coming on here real early like this in the morning because these earthquakes start picking up about when the sun comes up. About every six hours after the sun comes up and goes down. I notice that's when they like hitting the most. Now they can happen at any point in time or day or night, but like right now they ain't going to show that many. I could check this thing about dinner time and there'd be some earthquakes over in here. So as of this morning, as of right now, 6.24 a.m. Central Time, this is always showing. Southern California. We got a 0 0.7. And we got a 3.47 right here. These quakes. What I tell y'all yesterday, y'all see how they starting to get from green to, to yellow down here? You see how they used to be micro and they went to green they, because they got a lot bigger. Now they're getting here, they're getting a lot bigger. As these picks up and gets bigger and bigger, we're going to have more and more problems, more and more worries up through here. Coming on around through here. Y'all see that line up and through here? Ridge crest is right here. We must understand our world is going to keep seeing these. They're going to get stronger and bigger and bigger, and we're going to have more and more problems. There's just no other way around. All right. Got this line we've been talking about up here that's been coming up towards Reno and coming down towards Las Vegas. Y'all see that? All right, starting right here, southeast of Carson City, 1.4. Southwest of there, 1.6. Southeast of there, 1.9. Northeast of there, we got a 1.6, a 2.1, and a 2.7. Toward southeast of there, 2.0. 1.8, and then we got these little tremors. And we didn't cover all these either. Y'all see that right there? Right at Los Angeles, 1.2. Long Beach, Los Angeles, 1 1.17, 1.36, 1.02, 1.49, 0.62, 1.8. South of Bakersfield right there, 1.5 minus 0 0.3 kilometers. So that's above sea level right here. A 1.5 above sea level. 0 0.3 kilometers above sea level right here south of Bakersfield. And it's saying that that happened at 0044 UTC time this morning. <clears throat> Coming on up. Right here, we got a 1.2. <clears throat> Excuse me. A 1.1. A 1.2. This little swarm is where the man drilled into the geysers to get the steam to turn the turbines to generate electricity for all these folks that live out in here and surrounding areas. 1.6 there. Coming on up here, north of Eugene, Marcola, northeast of Marcola, Oregon, a 1.8. Then we're coming over here around Tacoma, Tacoma, Washington. They're calling it one kilometer north, northeast of Alderton, Washington, a 1.8. This is Seattle. They call this four kilometers northwest of Indianola, Washington. Indianola. That is Seattle, y'all. 
That's a 2.8, 24.2 kilometer deep. That's right down in there where the plates are stuck together. That is the, about the right deepness. So that's a tremor. If that thing ever slipped this little plate right here, ain't nothing compared to what's going to happen. Alright. Now we done been over them. Let's come on up here. Ooh, doggy. Y'all see all them yellows? They're going to come through here and down through here. And if this is already getting pressure, they're going to come right through here or they're going to come right through here. Let's start up here in Alaska. Let's check it out. 2.7. <clears throat> 0 0.1 kilometers deep. That's not very deep. Not at all. <clears throat> right here, there's a daggum swarm, but we're only going to hit the, the showing two yellow ones there. A 2.5 and a 2.7 at 0 0.1 kilometer deep. That's one we just covered. There's another 2.7, 130.6 kilometer deep. So that's going to generate more earthquakes right there in the future, too. A 3.8. 54.5 kilometers deep, right there. Then y'all see right here, this, this boundary, this plate line, right on the plate line right here. We got a 4.0 in the Gulf of Alaska, south of Alaska, 10 kilometers deep. Hmm. That's going to generate more earthquakes, too. This is probably going to move down through here, and these are probably going to move through here. So I would watch this Cascadia Seduction Zone just in case if these right here was a trigger. Alright, we're going to go to Hawaii. We got some pickup activity look like in Hawaii, so let's go check it out. <coughs> As we was talking yesterday, this lump goes through here, right through here. Seems that they've laid off of it a little bit more. But we got one out here in the water, 2.1. Got a 1.8 right here. 2.02 here and a 2.58. Down in here is where it distributes the magma to all the volcanoes. As you can see, these that came up going this way. And these are going this, this way. Alright, this one. 2.86. We're showing 31.7 kilometers. Getting closer over here to Kilauea. 2.6. <clears throat> it's 1.9 kilometer deep. Right there in Kilauea, 2.6, 10.6 kilometers deep. And y'all see how they came up, went in, backed up. They went straight back in, in here, and then they hit over here. This rim eventually is going to fall down in here, too, one of these days. And this little fella over here is a 2.0. That's about all it is for Hawaii. Let's see what they're showing the rest of the way around the world. All right, you remember this is what I was going to tell y'all. We'll go. Y'all see now how we got activity starting to come and hit over here, and how it's quieting down over here. All right, you see how this is moving in, and this is moving in. So when this moves out, this will be over here. Y'all see that, right? When this moves out, this is shoved on up over here. So when we got activity over here, it's quiet over in here. When it's quiet over in here, we got activity over in here. It just seems to be that way. And then, you know, you got this channel that goes all the way down through here that feeds Hawaii with magma. All these are magma channels through here, too. But anyway, that... Hawaii sometimes release some pressure and sometimes I notice when things start happening at Hawaii it can be a sign of uptick in other places also like over here 
A lot of time when Hawaii's acting up, over in here around La Palma in Spain there, it'll be acting up as well. Sure enough. All right, coming over here around Puerto Rico there. Let's zoom in over there. We got 3.5. 3.8. Three point five eight and three point five one. <clears throat> All right here in the two point four five. That's because these plates are shifting. These plates shift, like I said, all the way across the country around this is the middle part. This is the equator. Or these are all the way through here should be getting earthquakes the most. Hawaii, right through the Philippines. See all this is equator. Equator area. All the way across South America through here. Alright, coming on down here. South America. 4.4 round Chile. Oh, we got one way down here by Antarctica. The Balney Island region. 5.9, 10 kilometer deep. Then we get right here, we got a 4.4, 4 4.5, 4.9, 5.0. We got a 4.7, 627.9 kilometer deep. I said, oh man, we gonna have a lot. I think right in here, Something is trying to push up because we're having way too many. And you think they would get, they wouldn't be as deep, they would be as shallow as they keep happening and coming up. But some of them keeps just getting, it's deeper. 627.9 kilometers. That's a good way down in the ground, y'all. That is deep earthquake. Coming over here. They call this 42 kilometers west, northwest of Pangonia, Papua New Guinea, 5.3, 170.5 kilometer a day. 4 4.5, 4.5, 4.0, 4.7, 4.6, 4.9. And right here, they, in Afghanistan, we got a 4.5, 176.7 kilometers deep. And that's all they showing around the world this morning as of right now. And so, now that we did that, I guess the next thing we need to do... is hit on the rain amounts probably but I can't report on them yet because it ain't eight o'clock so we're gonna skip that today uh, I'm coming on here super early this morning but anyways I want y'all have a good and blessed day please don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment if you ain't already and if you'd like to do so to help this channel grow us I don't accept donations or nothing like that. I just, if you'd like to help me, all I ask is like, share, and subscribe, and comment if you'd like to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Either way, we are going to grow together. But anyways, I want y'all to have a blessed day. Y'all don't be tricking people too much with the April food. And uh, I will be watching these storms, so I'll probably be posting a good bit today if they go to kicking up. And y'all, if y'all get too many posts and they come aggravating, go on, go on your YouTube and you can set your profile or how do you want your notification. You can set them uh, three different ways. Personalized, I forgot the other two ways, but anyway. Set your notifications. Uh, I don't try to worry people. Y'all got to think. I don't just do this for my area. I, I do this for the whole country. So when it gets bad, I have to post, you know, because there's people that live up here too. 
I might be able to help them as well as I can help somebody down here. So either way, so if y'all get a lot of posts, I'm not trying to aggravate you. I'm just trying to get the word out to as many as I can. And uh, set their notifications or, or whatever you have to do. They're just, just all help each other and grow together and treat each other with kindness and love as God wants. Till then, we'll talk later. Have a blessed day.